the uh, valley. We yeah. lost in space over here. We also got. Over. <laughs> I'm sorry, we gonna make it up to you. It is. Wow. I'm sorry. It's a little deep. <laughs> Somebody, please. You want to crack a beer? You want a honey? Got some honey right Okay, okay. You got, 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 got a plug already. Yeah, um, right. the bathroom is right there. The this, yeah. Yeah. So that's the artist. Dual just, drama in the building. That yes. was that was the song we were just playing, right? Yes, he had so, some fire. Oh, that was yeah. Yes, it was dope. Uh -huh. It was right. Uh -huh. I told you. So, but we're gonna get to hot topics. Hold on, before we get to hot topics, we also got somebody else sitting up here with us. That, and I'm getting to that. Oh, oh shit! My we that we right sit back, you know what I mean? Goodness. So, you know we got hot topics with Jigs. And can you let the world know who you are? Rado Beats. Rado Beats. So, what do you do, Rado Beats? I make beats. <laughs> you make beats? Yeah. I make beats and I run bangingtables.com is the website all about producers. Oh, and that's real dope. So, like, how long you been in the game? Well, I've been doing a, a website for about maybe six years now. Um, and just uh, pretty much just promoting producers, interviewing producers that's already established or up and coming. And, you know, just. Uh, just educating the, the, the dudes that's trying to be producers. That's dope. Mm, that's yeah. dope. And I can respect that. And I appreciate you chiming in on our hot topics this week. Definitely. What's up, Jim? Ain't shit. I'm just happy to be here another Tuesday. Above ground. Can't complain. Yeah, you I'm know. I'm doing something strange for a little bit of change. Like we all do. Yeah, man. Yeah, so our hot topics today is the prodigy vandalism okay. now of course we've been following this story for a long time yes. not because we're just media or whatever but because mm -hmm. we absolutely fans two weeks before recap two weeks before he died i started off my birthday at the blue jazz blue note yes yes then he did summer jam of course and then two weeks later he passed away Crazy. We had the whole show dedicated to him and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now that they have a mural in Queensbridge, it's like the block off where there's little stores. Is that, I know we're going to get to that. And, the you know, people came together and did a mural for him. Mm -hmm. It's a block away from the Nas mural. Okay. And then somebody vandalized it. They, they put uh, white paint over it to cover it. Can we get to that? Oh, you seeing it? Yeah, so they just def defaced it. Yeah. So what y'all think about that? Uh, mm, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. somebody took the time out to put that art piece up. You know what I mean? It's people out there that he touched their lives in one way or another, and it was just trying to play homage, play respect. So you're supposed to have put whatever personal beefs or disagreements you had with that man and let it rest with him. You know what I mean? Don't go out there and deface it because now you're hurting other people that he loved and touched in effect. It's not just about the painting on the wall, it's about what it symbolizes. So you just basically spitting on his grave type yeah. shit, you know what I mean? And it's, I think it's a bigger hit on hip hop culture. Yes. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know, these hip hop, you know, New York is the mecca of hip hop, you know, and these are wh where the whole culture is born. Like all of you little dudes out there listening to Migos and designer, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the hip hop culture. Like, without dudes that paved the way, none of these other guys would have had their chance and opportunities. So, when you have like somebody that was so uh, important to the culture, lyrically impactful, you know, just an imagery of, you know, what represented our city. And the sound. Yeah. Yeah, it was just everything. Like, Mob D Prodigy was that New York. Feel and sound. He was the epitome of New York. Even the, the way his voice sound, that 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 New York slang, that that delivery, it was all New York. Yeah, yeah that, that un language. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yep. He the reason why people say son and all that. Not him, but the Queens, that area of Queensbridge. Yeah. They like they started that son. What up, son? Not and done, talking all that, that, that dun language done, done. and all that. So yeah. it was a part of the lingo. It was the soundtrack to our life. Yes. Growing up, and I say like, that you know all what I mean? the time. Yeah, I mean, this this is, is I think, is a bigger shot. Like I said, it's the hip-hop, because yeah. hip-hop, 
you know, Prodigy was one of them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what if they decided to do that to every mural of every hip hop artist that we, you know, praise? They'll start a trend because you know, we disagree or, yeah. you know. We can't do that. We have to respect these guys that made an impact for our city. Because nine times out of ten, if you did get a deal or was at a performance or be in the kind of situation, they paved that way. Yeah. And it's, it's like. Not to cut you off, it's also, we gotta remember, Queensbridge is historical alone. In hip hop. Without Prodigy adding on to it. They have Marley Marr, um, MC MC Shan, Shan, Roxanne, Shantae, Craig G, G, Tribe Called Quest. Yo, the list goes on. I'm talking about Nas. I'm talking about Queensbridge alone. Oh, Queensbridge alone. Queensbridge alone. CNN. Yeah, CNN, Capone, and Noriega. You know what I mean? Like, coming out of that, you know what I mean? Even the underground artists like Bars and Hooks. Yeah. You know what I mean? All of them. Um, um, school April, April. Rock QB. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Chinky. No school ball. Lady smiles, and we're gonna have Lady smile. She's down with QBU. That's yeah. The yeah, yeah. Like you have so many things. Fi- Piff Jones. We have Piff Jones in the building, and he's yeah. everywhere now. So I'm saying like, that. How? I'm saying not to say this. It's also just like how you said to hip hop, because that's like. You wouldn't think something like that would happen to a rapper. He's not like an ordinary person from Queensbridge and like, ah, oh, fuck that nigga. It's, it's about history. The whole world is looking at y'all projects right now and y'all showing like how that petty disrespect. y'all can get down. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? and then that goes to show, like, you know how people be like, it be the strangers that show me more love yeah. than people that I grew up with. Even if there was a beef or something, you mean to, like, really? They like, got your the beef, bigger picture. Yeah, you know your mean? beef. So, Let's let's move after, forward after, with after, the story. After I, death, any beef should be over. Exactly. <laughs> you know like, what I'm saying? Because right. he's on the ground. I he's th- on the I think, ground. I you think, still yeah. able to walk and talk. And even if you have a, yep. a fucking show, I'm pretty sure it's way more bullshit than the show that he would have. But you're still able to do that. You Listen, know and, and, the, and another thing is, too, that us growing up in the hood, me growing up in the hood, one of the biggest things that I always comes to your mind when you're walking down the block is when you see a mule and you see that mule and there's usually somebody that was respected on that block. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So that, that's like, that's the, that, that's the biggest form of respect and, and dedication you could kind of give somebody in the hood. It sounds like mm-hmm. whatever, it's just a painting to people, whatever, graffiti, but to us it's like, well, every time I saw that mural of Big Pun, every time I saw a mural of Big L, you know what I'm saying? It just reminds you of the impact and how important those people were for certain people and you shouldn't disrespect that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you don't hear stories about those murals getting defaced, you know what I mean? The big pun, like you said, the um, the big L one over there. Well, who else got one, Biggie? Yeah. Um, who else got a um, mural in New York? Or this in... Well, I there's mean, many everybody. of them all over. But wait, wait, they, they tried to restore it. Can we show the clip of them trying to restore the mural? The, Two times. We don't get to that. We don't get to that. Yeah. 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 You know, they they came together and they they did them over. He just fixed the pieces that were mm-hmm. broken and you know made it obvious. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it, you know that it took him a week to do that. Like I saw the process. I took a picture of the when he was out there. I didn't submit it, but I got the picture when it was still the scaffold and everybody's all thirsty for it to be you know to mm-hmm. be done and see the finished product. You know, and then. Not even 24 hours later, they did it again. Show that pic real fast. They acting like, remember, they was the like only few rappers from New York going back at Pac when he was dissing New York. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, what, the only first ones. That's what I'm saying. They were the first ones to stand up for New York. Like when Snoop Dogg came down here, started, or... started kicking down buildings, I felt that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was a Snoop Dogg fan. But mm-hmm. for me to see that, I felt violated. And the that video was, was crazy. You remember the video? Yeah. When he was big through the nigga in the trunk and yeah, all that. it was and crazy. Yo, that, that had tragedy. Probably, also, yeah, tragedy. Tragedies yeah. from um, Queensbridge. Tragedy Gaddafi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Queensbridge. Yeah, man. Listen, man, like that was, yeah, it's just, man. you know. Poet, the, the, the rap it, poet. He, it was just, it's very disappointing for me to see people in our own city just disrespecting people that really brought shine I'm glad to you, our city. I'm glad you're saying that because there's a screenshot of somebody having an opinion. Now the back, on the backdrop of everything, you know, things, certain things can't be speaked about right yeah, now. Okay. But 
just just tell me what you think. Let's let's see the screenshot of the opinion. They're saying that when they was trying to fix the mural, they yeah. were approached. Now some may say it was by the bloods or blood affiliated. Mm-hmm. And they was like, every time you fix this wall, we're gonna keep throwing paint every single time. But what is the what are you proving by throwing paint on it? You know what I mean? We gotta look at the bigger picture, like, you know what I mean? Like the whole world is looking at y'all you projects. That's all. You think it was personal? It gotta be personal. Who's gonna take time out of your day to think about going? You gotta go buy the paint, and then you gotta, you know what I mean, scheme and plot to throw it up, or maybe you're not scheming the plot and you just don't give a fuck and you throw it up. But you still gotta go buy the paint. You gotta, you gotta plan your day out. You gotta you take gotta time come out. You gotta out to even do that. Yeah. You lifting the can of paint is you're energy. not getting no money doing that. You know what I mean? I can see if somebody was paying yeah. you to go do it. You it's taking just, time out of your grind yeah. and go throw paint on a dead man's Listen. picture on the wall. Got, got, or somebody probably just sent one of their yeah. goons. So of course you, you gotta be even some the little niggas should be how much yeah. pettier can you get with their day than do that. And it gotta be in the middle of the night because Queensbridge is the largest projects in New York yeah, City. Listen, there's people running through that through there all types of situations. Unless you is some shit that nobody's fucking with you. At, like, oh, those are them niggas. So I'm not even. At the end, at the end of the day, though, right? They can never erase what prodigy history. Yes, did. the mark that yeah. he put on hip hop. No matter how many paints you want, how many murals you want to ruin, you can never, ever, ever, and we'll never erase that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Prodigy's gonna. Live on forever in New York. And he also you know dropped an album. I wish I knew yes. the name of the album. Go cop that album. Download that album, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he that got is, a book and everything. Yeah, he got a new book that just dropped. But well, he was doing a, he was working on a cooking show too, I yeah. heard. Yeah, because he had a cookbook the infamous too. Chefs. He the, um he had a cookbook. Um I think it's yeah, got to be the infamous prison, cookbook. The prison, the infamous yeah, cookbook. Yeah, exactly. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. He was talking about making meals, yeah. you know, healthy meals because, you know, in, mm-hmm. in prison and shit. Because he yeah. was changing his diet. I posted a video where he's talking about, he was like, because we're the melanin, we're attracted to the sun. Yeah. And we live off the sun, so we got to eat more. We're like plants. Mm-hmm. We, we got to feed the carbon, so we should eat more plant-based foods and try to think differently about the way we live. Well, we the way we, he was living, real. The people with, that we, who we really are. Yeah. Yeah. And that sickle saying? cell, that was, you know, I think that was probably what made him want to start making those changes and help. Yeah, yeah. Help. exactly. Yo, but shout out to Queensbridge. Shout out to Prodigy. Yeah. This was a, another dope hot topic. Yeah. Tell everybody where they can find you people at. <laughs> Check it out. It's Rado Beats. You know, bangingtables.com. And that's it, man. Just make beats. Producers and all that. Yeah. And that's it. And this is my co host, my hot topic. <laughs> and he's going to be here every week three, talking one, shit two, with five. me. <laughs> Word. Rest in, Rest in peace, Prodigy. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Shout out to Queensbridge. And shout out to everybody who lost somebody. You know, life is Word. short. And we need to just give up the petty shit. It ain't yeah. that serious. Look at the bigger picture, people. Look at the bigger picture, yes. man. Let's, let's praise let's our heroes. Let's get into some more June drama. Let's get it. Yeah. Yup. <laughs> yeah. June drama. Bronx King 3 album. Full clip, 
next you clip hook wanna bend him i blow out your brain put some respect when you mention my name this nigga's insane i'm keeping it trailer you keeping it lame that is the difference between our name chill Still be, I'm still the same, ain't nothing changed, I'm still true, I'm still me. Uh, 